Well, my name is Kimani Mthami. I'm here at Story Moja and uh, I'm, I'm loving the event. We were talking about um, kind of you turning your own life into into story. Wow! Do you know? I think the attendance this year has been remarkable. My name is Giles Foden. I'm visiting Nairobi. Very happy to do so. told me I'm not his wife. He asked me I'm his wife. It's been a great pleasure to support the festival uh, here this week. Uh, it's a great opportunity to bring together so many people on uh, these uh, very exciting issues. Africa is a, is a poetry continent. We, we write poems a lot. Even the way we talk is poetry. The way we walk is poetry. Everything in Africa is poetry. Nurses heavy of hip roll around beds with padded hands. All morning the mantra, I watch it squirm at the unrest of our world, jolted. My name is Alea Kasim and I'm part of the organizing team of Story Moja. I've been in charge of programming and it is a year-long process, you know, there's a lot that goes into it from um, looking at the program and looking at artists that we think will excite people um, to trying to get partners on board, um, engaging schools, engaging audiences. It really is a year-long process. Hay Festivals works in 15 locations around the world, but this is our only festival, the Story of Mojo Hay Festival is the only festival that we have here on the continent of Africa. So it's a great pleasure to be here in Nairobi. Well, I'm here for the Story Moja Hay Festival. It's very exciting to uh, come back to East Africa. It's nice to see uh, writing being given a, a good environment in which to prosper uh, here, here, in, here in Africa. And I very much hope that this is the beginning of a long-awaited resurgence of East African writing. The festival is a place where Kenyans can come together, celebrate creativity, engage in discussions where we respect each other's opinions but we challenge them, where we look critically at our society, where the family comes together and bonds and does things together. We want the festival to be for everybody. Cut Off My Tongue has been part of the festival since the first edition actually and Sitawa and her um, crew have been to the Hay Festival in the UK to perform Cut Off My Tongue as well. It's great to see the show again as part of the festival um, and we hope that all the issues that it tackles um, don't come to fruition again during the elections. Good evening, this is the voice of Kenya tonight. We bring you live an honorable member of Parliament, Amuheshimiwa, lamenting from the whenever you have writers, artists, creative people, they're always, by definition, imagining a world. And I think that it's a good thing, obviously I'm biased, but I think it's a good thing for any society to listen to creative, artistic people as an antidote to listening to politicians all the time. Writers have said to have seven obsessions. Mm -hmm. What are yours? Seven obsessions? I took part in uh, three sessions for the Story Mojo Hay Festival this year. I interviewed the British author Giles Foden, who wrote, uh, I guess he'll always be famous for, or might be more famous for something else, but up until this point, he wrote The Last King of Scotland about uh, the, the years of Idi Amin in Uganda and the dictatorship that pertained. 
and uh, he's written more books which have to, Africa as the setting, Zanzibar. My interest, having introduced him in a sort of um, uh, participatory session, was to address him as an African looking at what he's writing. Um, highlights of people who have been on the program this year are too many to mention. Um, it's so hard. I think the Wangari Matai Memorial Lecture, the inaugural lecture delivered by Yung Chang, was incredibly moving and powerful. She had two standing ovations. Professor Wangari Matai, um, and I'm a huge admirer. She's an inspiration, and, and it's for all strong women. I mean, for women, for women to be strong. That was, a, I think, a fitting tribute to Wangari, and um, it was it was a thrill to have Young come and, and do that. The China didn't discover a different formula um, to generate economic success. Uh, Jun Chung, who wrote Wild Swans, uh, came to give the inaugural uh, Wangari Madai lecture for the Story Moja Hay Festival. She's a famous writer, so for her to be able to come, it's a good thing. To have really international, out there authors come and to mingle with us sort of, you know, small fish in a small pond like myself and Miguna Miguna is a good thing. And by definition, we're going to talk about our societies, and by definition, societies have politics within them. It's a great opportunity to bring together so many uh, people on uh, these very exciting issues. Uh, the British Council uh, has been an active supporter of the festival. Uh, we have, uh, through the British Council, brought three British writers here to the festival. So it's a very important part of, uh, of our agenda. So our panel at Storia Moja today focused um, a lot on the role of technology in society more broadly. Um, whether it's from opportunities for young people um, around self-expression, the impacts on the economy, and the impact on politics uh, as a starting point. My name is Tony Motsama, and um, I'm a writer and a journalist. Oh, we are just talking about this excess of, well, I was talking about it, like um, the way the truth fiction has to offer, the more complicated journey vis-a-vis, -vis, um, the thing Kenyans love a lot self-help and motivation, um, so we're having a bit of a debate, yeah. and um, hopefully the fiction people want. Yeah. Well, my name is Kimani Mthami. Uh I'm here at Story Moja and uh, I'm, I'm loving the event, you know, I, I've loved every, every discussion. Mo most of the meetings have been in the form of discussions. Um, I've enjoyed it, you know, as in uh, high-level discussions on, on education. Often teachers stand there and they teach and they think, okay, I've done my job, and they're not realizing that, that their students did not understand a, a key concept. And so technology parents can log in and see what their kids are doing. What are we going to do? Are we going to start saying access or we have to, you know, move the government? Very easily make a conscious decision to make education the bedrock of our development. We want the festival to be for everybody. We want to get a book in every hand. We want, and already we're seeing, you know, this year we had people traveling from Tanzania and Uganda. You know, regionally it's already starting to pick up interest. And I really do believe it's just going to go from strength to strength. I think what we strive to do is to present a program that it's of the highest quality it can possibly be. And the people that we invite are, are 
thinkers and innovators, uh, and, and they're always potentially controversial um, because it's a platform for freedom of expression and we don't necessarily have to agree with people's expressions but we are happy to give them a space to to communicate it, their ideas. If you have somebody like uh, Miguna Miguna talking about his book Peeling Back the Mask, if you're arranging something, that's a very topical man to have. Now that I have found a publisher, now that I have already told the country that this book must come out by June uh, 2012, and by this time it was uh, November. When I pointed out at the Miguna session, it was a hot one, uh, about Miguna writing a bad book about uh, the Prime Minister, well, simultaneously he was writing psychophantic articles in, a, in the newspaper. Miguna told me I'm not his wife. He asked me if I'm his wife. So that was the low down, that was the low point. <laughs> So the first one I'm going to read to you is called Bafi. My name is Lola Shone, by the way, sorry, and I'm from Nigeria. I uh, mainly write in response to my environment and this um, in recent years um, I've found to include uh, mainly issues um, concerning women. Um, that's what inspires me because um, I'm writing uh, with the hope that um, some woman will read what I've written and will question tradition or question their own views and begin to interrogate society as a whole. Um, I think that's the purpose. That's why I read. I read. Uh, that's why I write. Rather, I write to to ask questions, um, so that other people might ask themselves those questions. I was just talking with the poet Lem Sisse, and he said he he feels that this is a world class event, and if we manage to achieve that, then I'm very happy. Okay, so don't be going on with all the Ethiopian stuff. And I'm like, what? There will always be one child in one generation who stops and says, I've got to go back. And everybody else will say, no, don't. And if you do, I won't speak to you because I've spent so long defining what this family is. You are not the person to come in here and, and mess with that. I was that child who went back. Human beings have done some pretty sick things. And is that to say that men have always had a problem? Or what makes this special in such a way that then you can say that there is indeed a crisis? Then what you were referring to, and that violence was usually violence inflicted upon the enemy. Well, I can't comprehend why they're burning books or slashing paintings. When they can't bear to look at God's own nakedness, when they ban the film and got the seats to stop the play and I ask why, they just smile and say she must be from another country. When I speak on the phone and the vowel sounds are off, when the consonants are hard and they should be soft. Africa is a, po is a poetry continent. We, we write poems a lot. Even the way we talk is poetry. The way we work is poetry. Everything in Africa is poetry, honestly. So we, we are poetic by nature. She tried to be a lawyer, but they said her skirt, way too high, distracted the judge. She tried to be a teacher, but they said her voice was, was too quiet, not loud enough to control the children. So, she tried to be a woman and they 
pat her on the back and showed her the kitchen, the garden and the bed. Um, last night we had the Story Moja Stir Up, which was you know, poetry, storytelling, music, and it gave me goosebumps. We had 400 people there, a lot of them were university students. We had this group of young Kenyan poets put together this incredible show, unlike anything you know, you've ever seen. But in the streets of Africa, I am a suffering king. Shackled na grants na longs and yes, do any could improve my being. Been to university and studied everything, and now I'm earning nothing. <laughs> what they call ridiculous, that is my ascension, my rise. The smooth, shiny curve that I should climb upon to my throne, putting a smile on the Spartan Kratos as if I was his own. Today, I school you in this very classroom. You will watch me succeed as you sit there stationary with your stationary, emptying your pens upon thousands of pages of books of sages with the title, The Ruler is Here. <laughs> Firstly, we'd like to point out the emergency exits in case of emergencies. Just head for these if anything goes wrong. <laughs> You may get hungry during the course of this evening, so snacks have been made available for you by Urban Bites. Also, we appreciate you may get thirsty. My colleagues will point out where the bar is. In case of a crash landing, please panic, scream and run around as quickly as you can. A world. I imagine a world where people are not afraid to be who they are. I imagine a world where um, we respect the environment. A world where animals can live with people, people can live with animals, and even though resources are getting more constrained as we multiply, um, I imagine a world where we work out how best to utilize this earth that we have in the time that we are here and leave it in a, one, a better situation than it is at the moment for those who come after us. I think you can continue to expect a world-class event. We've achieved it and we'll continue to, to, to deliver that. And what our ambition for the festival is to, just as we did in Hay on Wine, we started very small and we've grown and we've grown and we now have an audience of 220,000 people um, and a global community that we can share our stories with and that's what I hope to achieve with the Story Major Hay Festival. Um, you can look forward to, to a lot more of this and, and a lot of fun. <laughs>